Hi guys! So today I am going to talk to you about some names from Arthurian legend and I love so many of the stories from these myths and legends and I know there are so many different versions and so many different retellings of the stories um, but I tried to find some names that were um, sort of names of main characters that were included in a lot of the stories. So I'm going to get started with the girls' names, and the first one I have is a place name, and I know I talked about this name in my place name video, but I had to include it here just because I love it so much, and that's Avalon. And Avalon is the name of a mythical island where King Arthur is supposedly buried, and I just think this name is so beautiful. I think it would make a great alternative to the super trendy name Ava. Then there's Elaine, and Elaine was one of um, King Arthur's sisters, and she was also um, another character who died because of a broken heart because Lancelot didn't love her, and she was so in love with him. Um, and she was the inspiration for Tennyson's poem, The Lady of Shalott, which is one of my all-time favorite poems, so of course I love the name Elaine, um, and it means light. Then, of course, I have Guinevere, who is probably one of the more well-known characters from Arthurian legends. She was the wife of King Arthur, she was his queen, but she also fell in love with Lancelot, who was quite the ladies' man. Um, and her name means White Ghost. Then I have Igraine, and I know this name is a little bit harsh sounding, but I still think um, that it's kind of cool and very different, um, so I put it on the list. And Igraine was the mother of King Arthur, and the meaning of this name is unknown. Then I have Isolde, and Isolde was the lover of Tristan, and her story is told um, in the Arthurian tale of Tristan and Isolde, and it's a very tragic story, but the name is still very, very beautiful. Then there's Morgan, or Morgana, who was a powerful sorceress and also the half-sister of Arthur, and her name means Great Circle. And the last three names I have are um, different names for the same character. Nimue, Ninian, and Vivian are all names for the Lady of the Lake. Um, and the Lady of the Lake has different roles in different versions of Arthurian legends. In some versions, she is the one who gives King Arthur the sword Excalibur. And in other versions, she raises Sir Lancelot after his father dies. And there are lots and lots of different variants of her name. I love Nimue, though. And um, the only problem I could see with it is that a lot of people would mispronounce it, um, and I love Vivian as well. Although some people think that in this case, Vivian is a uh, misreading of the name Ninian. So for Boris, the first name I have is Arthur, of course. And Arthur is the famous king, and I think this name is so handsome sounding. I can definitely imagine it on a little boy and on a grown man. Um, I can imagine it on a person of any age, and it means bear. Then there's Kay, or Kai, who was Arthur's brother, and his name means rejoice. And there are two different ways to spell this one. Then there is Caradoc, which is a little bit out there, but I could definitely see adventurous parents looking at this as a possible choice. And Caradoc was a knight of the round table, and his name means beloved, so it has a very, very nice meaning. Then there's Gareth, and Gareth is one of my personal favorite names. I just think this name is strong, um, but at the same time it has a very nice sound to it. Um, and Gareth was also a Knight of the Round Table, and his name means Spear Rule. Then another Knight of the Round Table was Lionel, and Lionel I think is a very, very cool name, um, and it, it means Lion. Then I have Merlin, who is the famous magician who was Arthur's mentor and um, just one of the major characters in Arthurian legends. And although this name is very, very much associated with the wizard and the character, I could see adventurous parents looking at this as a possible choice, especially for a middle name. I think it would make a really cool middle name, um, and it means
means seafort. And the last name I have is Tristan, and Tristan is a very cool sounding name. Um, and Tristan was also a knight of the round table, and his name means tumult, and he was the lover of Isolde in um, the story Tristan and Isolde. So those are some of my favorite names from Arthurian legends. If there are some that you like that I haven't met mentioned, um, let me know what they are in the comments below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you later.